Hello guys, it's Castaway Trader and today I'm gonna share with you one magic trick which would help you to nail the top of wave 3. And that trick would help you to find out how far wave 3 can go until it hits very important resistance. That video lesson would be added to my video course How to Trade Like a Pro, how to use wave analysis to find winning trading setups. But for a limited time it will be available on my website. Let's look at the live chart of SMH. SMH is an ETF of semiconductors. And the great thing about SMH that generally it follows wave counts much better than indices. In addition to that, SMH is quite a volatile instrument. And that actually combination of it to follow the counts and high volatility gives us a lot of great tradable setups. And today we will be talking about that red target box we are having here at the end of November 2020. If we look at the rally that started uh, in the middle of March and we can see that that rally has been nicely following the 5-wave up fractal. We can see ABC of wave 1, very shallow wave 2 but well pronounced ABC corrective structure and then as we know wave 3 should be composed of 3 subwaves A up, B down and C up. In that particular case we can see that wave 3 up came as elongated rally. Let's first recap what uh, typical tools we normally use to project the topping area. First of all, we normally use projections of wave 1 from the bottom of wave 2. So we measure the distance, you see the dashed line and we project it from here. And we have two ratios, 176.4, sometimes it gets broken and wave 3 can stretch to 185.4. Yes, sometimes there are cases when it goes to 200 or even 223.6, but I don't think it would be the case in uh, that particular chart. So we got two first uh, levels, uh, which would which could stop the rally to 309 to 698. So this is step number one. The second step, which I personally discovered, is that we apply projection tool to the first leg up in subwave A, uh, subwave A of wave 3. So we measure the distance, we project it from the bottom of subwave B down and normally, normally, subwave C of wave 3, the strongest part of the rally, finds its top at 123.6%. But sometimes it gets very extended and in this particular case, as you can see, it stretched to 204.52, which is 223.6% extension. And I keep telling you that 223.6% extension, that one, is the strongest extension we have in our toolbox. That extension normally, normally stops very strong rallies and declines even in wave 3. As you can see here, SMH has been hanging right under that level. This is why I think that what could happen, we can momentarily overshoot that level. And this is why I added here 250. So after 223.6, the next one would be 250, which is much less common and much less stronger than 223.6. So this is what we discovered. In addition, we can use channeling technique. Look, we can use channeling te technique and in every single trading platform, you have the tool called regression channel. For example, in TradeStation, you click regression channel, you start somewhere from here and you keep stretching it. And then you just change the wideness of uh, the channel. Instead of a one and a half standard deviation, let's use uh, 85 and 0 0.85. So now we have pretty narrow channel and we can see that 
the confluence of those targets and the channel is located around 207.50 to 11. The next step would be to look closer to focus on the final ABC move up. We measure subwave A up, we project the same distance from the bottom of subwave B down and we look at two extensions, 100% and you can see that 100% extension actually has already generated a nice pullback but I keep telling my subscribers that 100% extension is not a reliable extension. Everybody knows it and this is why normally that 100% extension manages to produce only a minor pullback and after that pullback price normally continues uh, mo moving in the same direction. And this is when it normally stretches to the next FIB which is 123.6% extension and in this particular case it's 208.64. Let me show you another way how we can find the top of wave 5. We use the projection tool again, we go Fibonacci tools price extension lines. Here we are dealing with the top of wave 5. Then we can measure the distance from the start of wave 1, so wave 1 starts from here to the top of wave 3 and we project it from the bottom of wave 4 and here you can see it's 100% it's actually the largest FIB which is allowed for wave 5 so here you see we have again another target in the very same very dense area so now finally I want to show you one trick which I personally found now I'm gonna show you my personal trick which I personally discovered. I'm sure you have never thought of using a retracement uh, tool to find tops of uh, waves. For that purpose we normally use extension tool. But I'm gonna show you how you can play the trick. So first how I came to that idea. When we expect wave for down or one degree higher. We know that normally it tends to find the bottom at the level where the previous pullback of wave 4 or one degree lower bottom. So in this particular case this is the bottom of wave 4. It was around 163.70. In addition to that we know that the most common retracement FIB for wave 4 is 41.4. And this is how we're gonna use it. We click drawing and Fibonacci tools, price retracement lines, and we click the starting point of that rally, the starting point of way one, and we keep pushing it higher, higher, higher until 38.2 retracement is aligned with the law of way four. And if price is going to come back down here, then the top should be at 0% retracement. Let me show you 0% retracement now. And here 0% retracement. So we kind of going backwards. We, uh, it's like backward reverse engineering logic. If wave 4 normally bottoms at 41.4 then using that structure we can uh, focus the top and in this particular case it gives us a quick target of 20609 you see it's a very easy to use method of um, projecting tops and normally it works really well especially it works well if you need to find the target if you are alone uh, in wave 3 and you need to find the target where that wave 3 can finally stop and this is how it can, you, it can work again you click the start of the rally and you start stretching it higher 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 until 38.2% retracement FIB is aligned with the law of the previous pullback in minor wave 4 down Again, you can see we used several techniques and all those techniques gave us several targets which, are, which um, form 
a very dense cluster around 207 or 208 I think it's gonna be a great place to go short either through SMH puts or you can uh, attempt to buy socks it's uh, an inverted uh, bearish ETF on SMH the ultimate target for the decline would be somewhere here but it can take several months and if you want if you prefer to play short term and I think that the first leg down may not go much deeper than 191 so if you want to go short once the target is hit so you may consider going long puts with 191 strike as I mentioned I'm gonna add that video lesson to my video course how to trade like a pro and uh, now I'm running Black Friday promo you can save 30% discount if you are not proficient in wave analysis I would strongly recommend you to start with my intermediate level video course which is called predict the market with the harmonic Elliott wave analysis and 30% discount is also available for that course in that course I teach you the basics of the wave analysis I show you the main patterns repeatable patterns that are played on every single time frame for five minutes to weekly charts and once you go through that course I would recommend you to take the second course because the second course will give you more details will show you more tricks as I've just shown you in that video that Black Friday promo is valid until December 2nd 2020 you can save 30% on my video courses and you can subscribe at www castawaytrader.com education again you should understand that you pay only once and you get lifetime access my video courses are hosted on the largest educational platform called Udemy it has over 20 million students worldwide and the great thing about that platform is that you can download the mobile app and you can download those video courses to your smartphone or tablet and you can keep learning even if you are flying uh, on an airplane or if you do not have access to internet thank you very much for your time good luck with your trading